The National Security Agency Surveillance Network has the capability to spy on 75% of all U.S. Internet traffic, the Wall Street Journal reports. Citing current and former NSA officials for the 75% figure, the paper reported that the agency can observe more of Americans' online communications than officials have publicly acknowledged. The NSA's system of programs that filter communications achieved with the help of telecommunications companies is designed to look for communication that either start or end abroad or happen to pass through the U.S. between foreign countries. However, the officials told the journal that the system's reach is so broad that it is more likely that purely domestic communications will be intercepted as a byproduct of the hunt for foreign ones. The NSA defended the program in a statement to Fox News. NSA's signals intelligence mission is centered on defeating foreign adversaries who aim to harm the country. We defend the United States from such threats while fiercely working to protect the privacy rights of U.S. persons. It's not either or, it's both, the statement said. The system works by using algorithms that act as filters designed to let high-value information through amid more benign chatter. However, after the September 11, 2001 terror attacks, a former two intelligence officials told the journal that the government changed its definition of reasonable intelligence collections, enabling the NSA to widen the holes in the filtering systems. The details are the latest to emerge about the NSA's operations and capabilities. As authorities in the U.S. and other countries try to stop the release of more information about the elaborate surveillance network, members of Congress on the Intelligence Committees, as well as past intelligence officials, recently have spoken up in defense of the agency, particularly after a report showing the agency had broken privacy rules and overstepped its authority thousands of times. The immediate concern is that the NSA possess the ability to spy on or intercept our communications, making our communications no longer private. The other question and concern is who will and or is capable of policing an agency as big and powerful as the NSA? According to this report, the NSA has already overstepped its authority thousands of times. Let's, for argument's sake, give the NSA and our current government administration the benefit of the doubt and presume that they have nothing but good intentions with respect to the collection of this data. In other words, the sole intent of the collection is for the protection of American citizens against foreign enemies or terrorist attacks, and in order for them to do that successfully, they sometimes, or more often than we would like, have to collect information on its citizens. The problem is, once the data is collected and stored, it is available to anyone in the position or with the power to access it. What if our government, God forbid, falls in the hand of someone who turns out to be unscrupulous, who decides to use the information collected against us in some way? What do we do then? Remember, the Bible said one day that no one will be able to buy or sell unless they accept the mark of the beast. Answer me this. How can such a system be implemented unless those who are imposing it have the ability to cast a far and wide surveillance net? To put it plainly, I view the technology that the NSA is using today as laying the groundwork for the fulfillment of Bible prophecy in the not too distant future. If that is true, don't expect this intrusion on our privacy to go away for that which is written in the Bible shall one day come to pass. Remember, fear not for your refuge is in the Lord. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace and love.